Hi Times, happy 420. It's Garen Angel, CEO of Magical Butter, and I'm here with a master bundle giveaway. Hashtag Magical Butter Loves Me, and somebody's gonna win this Magical Butter Master Bundle. This is everything you need to infuse your life. It's the decar box. This gets your flour ready for extraction. Stick your flour in the machine with the lecithin, separate the plant matter back out, and the last step, this is so easy to do, pour it into the butter molds, store it, they're marked with, with measurements so you know how much can of butter you're eating. Stay tuned, later today we're gonna have another magical CBD giveaway. Together we win. Hey guys, happy 420. <laughs> What's up? It's Randy. Chris here, magicalbutter.com, you know what's going on. Virtual 420 sesh. We're gonna be hanging out with you guys for a little bit. We're so happy to be here. Thanks to High Times. We know, uh, you know, normally we'd all be gathering and, and enjoying this holiday together, but it, it's really cool that you guys helped organize this virtual session. Big thanks, big thanks, High Times. Um, you know, we're gonna get to take a lot of peeks into some chef's kitchens using the, uh, the old magical butter machine to whip up edibles at home while they're stuck at home. Yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy. People have been submitting all types of cool content all month long, and today we're going to be getting an inside look at some chef's kitchens and see what they're whipping up at their house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, I you know, I'm sick of wearing this mask, but if you pull it up like this, I kind of look like Brett Michaels. Oh, yeah. So I'm, does that look good, guys? Is that good high time? I'm going to go with it. Rock looks, a love. Looks pretty good. That's a good way to rock it. So we're going to go check out our boy, Chef Rudy, right now in California. And let's see what he's whipping up in his kitchen. Chef Rudy, what you got? Hey, this is Chef Rudy. And today we are in my kitchen, which I turned into a magical butter kitchen. And we're going to make my famous elote pizza. So I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible for you guys, all right? So you can either use fresh corn or you can use frozen bag corn, right? But today I will be using fresh corn. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this. Yeah, I find when you use fresh corn, it just tastes a lot better, especially with the elote and the pizza in general. Now that I got these all cleaned up, we're gonna go ahead and butter them up. So, spread the butter nice and evenly. Again, if you wanna use infused butter, which I did not, I just feel that it, um, it changes the integrity of the flavors of the elote pizza. So I usually do my infusions on the crust, not on the corn but you feel free, more than free, to infuse, use infused butter or oils on the corn. Okay, now we're gonna wait till those get a nice golden crisp, little few burnt pieces on each one. Now that we're done roasting our corn, we're gonna go ahead and cut it off the cob. You gotta make sure that you got some few burnt pieces. It makes it gives it a nice nutty flavor. So now that we got the corn cleaned off the cob, we're gonna go ahead and use for six stalks of corn. We're gonna use half a cup of butter, right? And we will use another half cup of mayo. Pinch of salt, a couple actually, and a pinch of tahin. And since your corn should still be hot, it should melt the butter. Go ahead and mix that in, right? I'm gonna go ahead and w turn on this walk over here. Spray this little 
olive oil that I made with my magical butter last night. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add, I'd say about two tablespoons of mozzarella cheese, tablespoon of Parmesan, a little bit more tahini, give that a good mix. And we're just gonna let that come to a little boil. Hi everyone, so now we're back. I wanted to remind you that I use six stalks of corn to make um, about three pizzas, so that averages up about to two pieces of corn for per pizza. Um, obviously, you can use accordingly, so um, my measurements are, are really um, based on your taste, okay? So, now we're gonna go ahead and take some of this CBD olive oil that I made last night with my magical butter, and we're gonna put that on the crust. Go ahead and get a brush. Spread it out evenly. We're gonna go ahead and throw some Parmesan cheese on top of that first. And we're gonna grab the elote, also known as esquites. See the cheese is all melted. That's what you wanna see. See the cheese dripping. I know I said we can make three pizzas, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this all into one pizza. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab the rest of the cheese that we had and throw that on there. And we're gonna get some color into there. A little bit of tahini. Okay, so now we're gonna take our pizza and we're gonna throw it in the oven. Chef Rudy? Wow, dude. Yeah. What was the el elote pizza? It's like that uh, Mexican street corn pizza. Damn, that was uh, good. That I've was never, so good. you know, I've never really seen corn on a pizza. We're like a uh, quarantine pizza. <laughs> oh, man. That is too much. Nice work. Way to infuse all those different, you know, styles there. That's my boy Chef Rudy in California with, with cannabis catered events. Nice work, Chef. Nice kitchen. Always a pleasure to see see your work there. Um, so, wow, 420. Man, how about that 420? <laughs> We've got edibles on deck. We are enjoying ourselves today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit us with some hashtags below. Make sure you guys are sharing this video out. Uh, we're going to go straight up to, to British Columbia, Canada now. Oh, are we, eh? Hey, we're going to visit our boy... Chef Cody Lindsay. Hey, 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 Chef ay, Cody. Ay, 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 okay. Ay. What's he making? Yo, that's gonna be a surprise. But if I had to guess, I think it's gonna be some kind of a Northwest twist. You know, uh, the wellness soldier. He's up there helping all the veterans and, and teaching people how easy it is to to medicate. And so I tell you, him and the whole crew at Spartan Wellness, they. They're an amazing group of veterans helping others, um, educating on cannabis. Big shout out to Spartan Wellness. Bah, check bah, them out. On, Happy on 420 YouTube. to everybody watching up in Canada. Now let's go check out our boy, Chef Cody Lindsay. It's 420, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Chef Cody Lindsay from thewellnesssoldier.com. Thanks for joining me uh, to celebrate 420. I am going to show you how to create a delicious Canadian dish using some beautiful salmon 
and some cannabis infused maple syrup. To learn how to make cannabis infused maple syrup, head to thewellnesssoldier.com or the Wellness Soldier YouTube channel. Let's get started. Like I said, it's a super simple recipe. All we're going to do is take our cannabis infused maple syrup, add that to the bowl, make sure to scrape everything out of there. We got uh, half a cup of maple syrup. We got two tablespoons of smoked paprika. We got two tablespoons of chili powder with a little bit of, a little bit of salt in there too. Uh, a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of Dijon mustard just to bring it all together. There we go, just mix it up. Oh, delicious. It's just a nice, super delicious glaze. What we're going to do is we're going to take this glaze, obviously add it on top of the salmon, and then we're going to cook it on the barbecue until a beautiful mapley crust is, uh, uh, is created. All right, so we got the barbecue fired up. What we have here is we have the two end sides are fired up to the max, and then the middle ones are just kind of uh, medium heat. Again, we don't want it too hot because we don't want the maple syrup to burn. So we're just going to take our salmon, like I said, skin side down. And just nicely place it on the barbecue. And then close the lid, and every minute or so, come back and baste it with your marinade. It's been about a minute now. I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, nice, you can see it nicely. Oh, nice, you can see it really coming, I'll show you. Maple glazed salmon. Oh, how delicious does that look? Happy 420 from Canada. My name is Chef Cody Lindsay from thewellnesssoldier.com. If you want to learn more about cooking with cannabis, head to thewellnesssoldier.com or the Wellness Soldier YouTube channel. As for now, I'm eating salmon. <laughs>
a little bit of olive oil, I'm gonna pan sear it in a pan, and then I'm gonna hit that with a beautiful glaze that we're actually gonna spice up right now. I'm gonna grab our lemon, grab our zester, and you know the deal. <laughs> so we're gonna grab the lemon, and we're gonna zest just a little bit in there. You're gonna see a little bit start to fall off, but you, you don't wanna go too far until you hit the white membrane, so you just wanna take a little bit off the skin, and then we're gonna not waste this lemon, we're actually gonna use a lot of this citrus in our dish today. So I think that's enough, more than enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it one little tap and you're gonna see snowflakes. Snowflakes. Boom. So we have our zest in our little bowl. We got our glaze going. Now the glaze, I forgot to tell you, super easy. Four ingredients, barbecue sauce, mustard, hot sauce, and honey. Super simple, super easy. Most people have this in their house. So you're just gonna give that a little mix. I added a little bit of some lemon zest because of course we're making salmon. Citrus goes super amazing with salmon. And I know you guys are gonna love this. So, we got the glaze ready. I'm gonna put that aside over here with my other essentials. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is gonna walk over to my stove and I'm gonna turn this on. So what we have over here for some of you that don't know is a wok used in a lot of Asian cooking. The wok holds a lot of heat in it. It's super nice for sauteing. Again, nice color and flavor to some greens. So what I like to do is use my kale and spinach that I'm gonna saute with garlic, a little bit of some orange, the juice of the orange. It's gonna be delicious. A little bit of salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of honey. And then what I'm gonna do is saute that in the wok, reduce it down a little bit, braise it in some of that orange juice, and then we're gonna plate that on the plate, and then our pan seared glazed salmon right on top. Super healthy dish, super easy to make. It'll take probably like 10 to 15 minutes to make. The fish cooks up in less than three minutes. So anyone can do this, super easy, gourmet food. Get ready and let's go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep up the super green saute that I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some scallion greens that I have here. <clears throat> So scallion greens, super delicious. It's got a mild onion flavor to it. Shout out to my man over in Florida, Gross Cutlery, hooks up some amazing knives. He makes super sharp knives, trust me, my fingers know. So we're gonna chop off the ends of the scallions. I'm just gonna chuck them right over there because it doesn't matter where they go. And I actually pre-chopped the green part from it because that's what I do. I'm gonna grab the scallions, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna coarsely chop these. Super simple. You guys watching? So as I'm cutting these scallions, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my stove, and I am going to turn up the heat. Just gonna cut these up real quick. Get them super sexy. Here we go. Some scallions right here. Got the greens all cut up. Super simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat the pan. I want it to be nice and hot and ready for my kale to jump in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my garlic and I'm just gonna quickly chop through it. You don't wanna chop it down too, too, too fine because you still wanna have a little bit of like a garlic uh, <clears throat> crunch into your kale. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to add the garlic after all the greens have sauteed down so we've preserved most of the garlic and we don't wanna burn the garlic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly chop it. Just give it a quick chop. If you want, you can bring it in a little closer, just a little bit. You kinda see, it's a rough chop. Doesn't matter how you chop it. This, this is the one time where it's not really gonna matter too much how you chop it. It's gonna all get sauteed down. So, we got our garlic chopped. Give it one quick little chop through. Hey, here we go. Boom, we got our garlic chopped. We got our scallions chopped. I'm gonna go ahead, grab this orange, slice it in half and just make it Available and ready. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful those oranges are. Check that out. Hey, shout out to 
Mother Nature for providing us with such beautiful fruits and vegetables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab another one of these oranges because I feel like I should put another one in there because who doesn't like the sweet citrusy flavor of the of the kale? Ooh, you see that? It's smoking. We're gonna wanna turn that down. It's okay. These guys usually smoke, tend to smoke. Cast iron heats up quick. So I'm gonna go over here to the fridge and I'm gonna grab another orange. And while I'm here, I'm actually gonna grab the salmon to bring out over here and thaw out. Because it's super cold. We're gonna to wanna to bring that to room temperature real quick. We got some beautiful salmon over here. I got a filleted, sliced it up. I buy my fillets in massive fillets, whole fillets, and I portion them out and freeze them so I could defrost them whenever I need them. So cutting another orange over here, have that ready. Gonna grab just one half of a lemon. Have that ready right here. So it's so good to have all your essentials right here so you don't have to go too far. Everything's right here in front of your face. Organized, baby. That's how it goes in the kitchen. So what do we have? We have our wok nice and hot over here. You see this smoke kind of calm down. It's gonna make noise, guys. It's gonna make noise. Grab the kale and the super greens. And that's the sound you wanna hear. The sound of freedom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bowl away. I'm actually gonna go over here, grab myself a tong. Laminate it. Bring up the heat. And you're just gonna wanna watch this. It's gonna wilt down pretty quickly. Greens tend to do that. And so what we're gonna top with this, ooh, one almost got loose over there. Whoa, you almost got away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute this down. It's gonna be super beautiful, super amazing. We're gonna add the citrus to it, the garlic to it, the scallions to it. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, some honey to counterbalance all the acid and acidity that I throw into the kale. And it's just gonna braise in here, it's gonna be beautiful. So we got the kale going over here. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And I'm gonna grab Put this, I'm gonna put all these scallions to the side and move things over on my cutting board. I'm gonna grab the salmon right here, place it on the board. And what we're gonna wanna do right now is while it's sitting over here getting to room temperature, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of some olive oil, fresh olive oil. Right? Gets nice and beautiful. Hit that a little bit. Ooh. Sides. And I make sure, guys, check it out. I have the skin on. Always leave the skin on. I, at least I do, because when I glaze it, what happens is the skin tends to uh, form a nice little crispy glaze over it. And it's like it's like kind of like a salmon candy, or like you know, filled with omegas, omega threes. So we got the salmon right here. I'm actually gonna take off this glove, toss it. We got plenty more. I'm gonna grab this because we're we're bougie out here. Everybody has this black pepper in the fridge. You got some black pepper, just the top of it, because the glaze is gonna give most of the flavor onto the salmon. I'm gonna grab some Himalayan pink salt, filled with minerals, way better if you give that one little hit. Done, boom, easy. You're cooking like a champion, cooking like a gourmet chef, doing nothing well in the house. So you got the kale over here making noise. It's saying, hey, look at me. Yeah, this is what we want. So you start smelling kind of like a, like a, like a popcorny flavor. That's what you want. Get a nice char on the kale. Kale super bitter. Cook out most of that. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I have it on high heat. I'm gonna bring it down to like medium heat, medium high. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our scallions and garlic right here, here. Bring it into the handful. Boom. Grab our scallions and garlic. Toss it in, plain and simple. I'm gonna let that go for a second. Just a little pause. Yeah, buddy. 
We cooking healthy out here. Quarantine time, a lot of people are eating not healthy, man, but I'm telling you, we gotta eat a little healthier. We're sitting down for the next six months. <laughs> now, we got the garlic, we got the scallions in here. I'm gonna grab my beautiful oranges. We're gonna get some orange, orange juice in there. We want all the orange juice. We want it to braise. We want it to braise the kale. So this is super simple, nothing fancy. I know it's, I'm using the word braise and it sounds super, 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 super uh, fancy to you, but there's nothing fancy about braising. It's just liquid cooking up. Got all the juices in there. We're gonna grab our lemon. So we got all our citrus in here. So you see, we got it braising right now. We got it braising, you see all the bubbles, you see it's cooking, it's now, it's doing its thing in the juices. It's introducing all the citrus into the kale and the super greens and the spinach and all the flavor from the garlic and the scallions. It's gonna be super, 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 super delicious. And it's gonna be, go super, super well with the salmon that we have over here, resting over here. It's getting super, super beautiful and it's, just, it's gonna be perfect get up in the pan and get a nice color on top of it. So right now, we're gonna let this go for another like minute or two, you see? You see all that sexy citrus? We got all that going over there. That's the sound, that's the sound you wanna hear. It means we're working, it means we're moving, it means we're doing things, it means we're creating. It means we're not sitting around doing nothing during these quarantine times. We can't cook for people, we're here now doing live things. It's the way we do, we adjust. That's how we do it. We're mankind, baby. So we got our kale, our super greens, everything is all done. We're gonna pop it into the oven I have over here. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna throw it into the oven real quick. And I'm just gonna let it sit in here. And kind of do its own thing. So what we have right now is we have the glaze over here. We have the lemon. I'm actually gonna cut another one of these lemons. So I want to I want to put a nice fat piece of lemon here. I'm going to need a little bit of this olive oil, so I'm just prepping my station up right here so I have everything right near my hand and I'm not confused. Got my infusion right here just in case I'm feeling a little crazy. And I got my protein. Now, we're going to bring it over to the pan. Throw up the heat, high heat. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna put the oil in first. Because you want the pan to first get its heat nice and beautiful without burning the olive oil. So we're gonna get, let the pan get up to temperature. And it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna get the salmon seared up, nice golden crust right on top. It's gonna be super beautiful. Then we're gonna hit it with that glaze and it's gonna coat it and it's gonna get so nice. It's gonna hug it. It's gonna be so beautiful. I love making this dish and I've been on a super health kick lately. I've been working out, I'm trying to change my life. So I've been eating super healthy. So this is just something that uh, I thought you'd appreciate. That's something that you'd pay, probably pay a lot of money in stores for. So we got fresh salmon, we got some super greens. I'm gonna jazz up the plate a little bit for you guys, cause why not? I'm Chef Buzz. So we got the pan, I think, about ready. We're gonna add a little bit of the olive oil. Let's just get the temperature. I think you guys should come over here, cause I want you guys to uh, see all this searing. I really, really, really do. I know you're gonna enjoy this. Okay, so we got the pan nice and hot, beautiful. You see the oil is now moving super quick. It's kind of dancing around in there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our salmon. And what we're gonna do is you don't wanna put it skin side down first. You wanna put, you wanna get a nice crust on the top where all the spices are. And don't worry, the glaze is gonna flavor most of it. So right now, as I put it down, just drop it and don't move it. Let it do its thing. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. If you want, you could tilt it just so you have the oil really get to all of the salmon. But there you go. You see? You see how the uh, salmon starts to form a nice little white 
cooking line for you guys. So this is a cheat. If you guys want to look at the salmon and you see the cheat, just watch this white little, little line. As it cooks, it's going to start to move up the salmon. And that's how you know when to flip. So when it's about a little bit over halfway, we're going to want to flip it and it's going to be a beautiful medium rare. And the skin actually is going to protect. As it glazes and turns into that candy, it's going to protect the salmon from overcooking and it's going to be nice and moist and beautiful. I'm going to actually turn down the salmon just a little bit so we don't want the spices to burn. I'm going to get that to like medium high heat. And look at that. We see a nice, beautiful, 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 beautiful little golden color that's forming underneath the white line. And that's exactly what you want to see. Now you can just give it a little, it was about two minutes, or like a minute and a half. Now you can give it a little, little, little spin around the pan because the pan is hot in other places. You want to kind of spin it around and give it some love. So now you see, the line is moving up. The line is moving up. And while we glaze it, it's actually going to be amazing because while it glazes, it's going to cook from the, from the bottom up. So it's going to actually meet in the middle. It's going to be perfect. I just want to monitor my salmon and make sure it's not burning. No, we got beautiful colors. I'm going to leave it for another two to three minutes and it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to put down this plate. <clears throat> and what we have here is some wild Alaskan caught salmon here brought locally or bought locally. A, I can't wait to eat this. Like my stomach, I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling because it just smells like citrus and salmon and all the goodness. So I feel like now would be the time. You see how, we, how it's getting, the, the white line is not all the way up halfway, but you can kind of see like a little fuzz bleaching off. So right now we're just gonna grab it and do a quick flip, boom. Boom, and now this is essential. You're gonna see the, the salmon starts to come together a little bit as the skin is contracting and now everything's cooking up nice and beautifully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this glaze right here. Before I throw the glaze on, I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of citrus. Salmon always needs some citrus. And don't worry about the steam. It's gonna look beautiful. Look at that, look at that. And that's what you want. Just bathe it. The, the citrus is gonna, and the lemon is gonna take away a little bit of the uh, fishy flavor. Oh, there you go, there you go. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this glaze. I'm gonna start hitting the glaze on it. Just like that. Boom. Hit it with the glaze. You can start cooking. Grab some of that citrus. There you go. Nice, nice. Nice. Smells so good. You're just gonna wanna, you're gonna see that the glazes are gonna be on the side kind of bubbling up and turning into like a caramel. You're just gonna wanna grab it and kind of put it back up. Grab it and put it back up. Grab it and put it back up. And it's gonna kind of coat, it's gonna coat the salmon so beautifully. That's what we want. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the rest of this in here because why not? Yeah, that's what we want. I'm actually gonna put this down. I'm gonna kind of base this with some of this sauce. Look at that. So as, it, as the sauce is cooking up and it's glazing in the pan, I'm just gonna base it on the salmon. It's gonna glaze nice and beautifully. And this way when I lift up the pan, it actually prevents it from burning and stays a nice, beautiful, medium rare temperature for you to enjoy. Look at that. As you see the sauce starts to thicken up because all that honey starts to caramelize. So you're, you're getting all that honey caramelized. Yeah, right onto the salmon. Boom. Look at that. Simple, quick, easy. I'm gonna give love to this side right here because I feel like I've, I've had it. Let it drip down the side right there. Boom, there you go, there you go. This is what we're talking about. You see all, you see how that's bubbling? All of that is turning into like a caramel. Boom. And then we played it. Super simple. Here we go, guys. Let's take it full fledged. Let's take it full fledged and we're done right now, baby. Let's do this.
So for the garnish, I'm just gonna chop up some parsley. Right off the bunch, put that right there. Keep that to the side right here. I got the salmon still sitting on the pan. I did not forget about it. I know you guys are worried. So we got that to the side. Now, here's what we do. Take our salmon. See that guys? See all that glaze, all that caramel, all that beautiful, that's gonna be sticking right underneath the salmon. And it's gonna be coating the beautiful, the beautiful, the beautiful skin underneath there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it right here. It's doing this thing, getting nice and crispy. Grab my plate. Here we go guys. I got my plate over here. Gonna put some balsamic glaze. Boom, make it look sexy. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to do that afterwards. I'm gonna grab a little bit of honey. Just a little bit of honey on the plate. Beautiful. Now, what I'm gonna do Grab some of this glaze, right here. Right on the plate with it, boom. Look at that guys, getting crazy with it. Right in the kitchen. Now, we're gonna assemble the plate. I'm gonna open up the oven, grab my greens. What we're gonna do, Grab the greens, plate it right here, tip the plate. Look at that, all that citrus, all that orange. Beautiful guys, super healthy, super clean eats. Put that down on the stove. Grab my salmon. Woo, it's hot. Boom, salmon is on the plate. How beautiful it is. Just make it a little angled out. There you go. Grab a little bit of some parsley, right on top of the salmon, a little bit on top of the, you know, a little bit around the plate. Hey. Then we're gonna grab a little bit of sriracha. Just Come here and put a little blue, a little blue, a little blue. You get crazy with it. I know a lot of people get crazy. A lot of people are like, oh, this guy's getting so fancy. This guy's getting so fancy. But listen, any of you guys could be doing this in your kitchen. Super easy, super simple. Let's get a little close up on this plate, a little overhead shot. There we go. We have an infused 15 milligram, beautiful orange citrus glazed salmon with a citrus and garlic braised kale, super greens, with balsamic glaze, some sriracha, and some honey. Beautiful, super simple, super easy. Anyone can make this at home. And until next time, love you guys. Salmon was slamming. <laughs> you can never get enough, you know, you never get enough fish puns, I tell you. <laughs> Big ups to my boy Chef Buds with the with the New York flavor and a little bit of the West Coast style, so
Got a nice quarantine beard going. Definitely, bro. I know you're staying healthy. I've been nice. seeing you on social media. Appreciate the, the motivation out there. You know, doing them push-ups, doing them cush-ups. You guys, stay healthy right now. Stay hydrated. My boy Chef Bud's coming in clutch with the sautéed salmon and, and, and vegetables. I mean, what more do you need? Well, I think I need another recipe from my girl Renee. Ooh, our very own Chef Renee. She's always got that, that healthy guidance yeah. and, and that heady vibration. You know, she likes to keep it nice, savory, too. And I think she's going more my style. What's she making today? Infused sandwich. What, sandwich or well, salmon? No, sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> You'll have to see what type of sandwich. Sandwich. In a second. All right. Let's go, let's go live now. Check out Chef Renee and her kitchen at home. What you got for us, Chef? Going to Florida. Hey, all you stone cats and kittens out there. It's Chef Renee. Welcome to my quarantine kitchen. So today for 420 special, we're gonna be making one of my favorite Sammies, the Reuben, but with a magical twist. So I'm gonna start by making the base. Uh, last night in my magical butter machine, I made an infused algae oil. Uh, this oil um, is high in monosaturated fats, and that's the good fat for your heart. So we're going to start with our oil, egg, sea salt, three ingredients. This is the base to mayonnaise, infused mayonnaise. So we're going to start with the egg, which is room temperature. You always want to make sure that your egg is room temperature because it helps emulsify better. And then very slowly, we're going to stream in the magic. All right, it's almost there. Ta-da! Mayonnaise, infused mayonnaise. So you can make a batch of this and then just stow it in uh, your refrigerator. Um, and this will last up to two weeks. And while this was spinning, it was just so loud, but you can add things right into your food processor. So again, this is sea salt. Um, I like to use sea salt or Himalayan salt. Those would be uh, my two choices. I think that those are healthier options when using salt. And then also I'm gonna do a little fresh squeeze of lemon. I don't need this machine anymore. Okay. All right. And then, boop, really simple. Again, you can do this all while in the food processor, but it was so loud and I want to chill with you guys. And there we go. Just a good squirt. Drip, drip, right on in there. Okay. There we go. All right, so this is our mayonnaise. And this is going to be our base. Three easy steps. Did you guys know that this was so easy? Ta-da! Infused mayo, just like that. Nice, thick, you can add an extra egg if you want it really, really thick. So what we're going to do is I'm going to half the mayo in there, and I'll show you guys an awesome hack um, on Sammy's with the rest of this. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna leave this in there. My person's favorite is bread and butter pickles. So we're gonna chop this up, put some of those on in there. Real quick. I'm a dill fan. I mean, I like bread and butter, but I do love dill. So we're gonna add some of those in there. And I'm a particular pickle. I I don't like every single dill pickle. I like the nice garlic cold in the jar pickle. But since he's a bread and butter fan, and it's 420, and I'm hanging with my homie Nomi here. 
we'll put in some bread and butter. Real easy. Boop. Oops. Don't want to dull my blade. Don't run for me, mayonnaise. All right, so right on in. And like I said, I am a huge fan of my dill pickles. I love them. They, they look, they hardly bend, right? So you know that they're nice and crispy. You know that they're good. Oh, I want to eat it right now. Am I allowed to eat it? I mean, I'm in my own kitchen. I'm quarantined, right? I mean, I might have one cut up back there. I very well could. You guys might be able to see that, but I don't block you. All right. Can you hear it? Crunch, crunch. It's my favorite. Okay. They even smell good. Oh. So these are gluten-free pickles. Uh, so we're the bread and butter. The entire meal, if you do have some allergies to wheat, barley, rye, um, this is a gluten-free meal. I know you guys are going to say, what? You're making a sandwich with bread. Um, but my favorite bread is Schlar gluten-free bread. Uh, it is amazing toasted. I can eat it regular. So yeah. So I am kind of chopping these up a little bit fine, finer because they're a little bit more potent. Oh, they're so good. I need them all right now. Okay. And one more round. Oh, I hope quarantine has been treating you guys really good. Maybe even making an, a recipe, hitting it up. See some of you guys on Magical Butter Users United showing off your treats, your magic. Awesome. All right, here we go. Add that. Okay, so it's a little extra. You don't have to add all of those. But I did. All right. So then I also have some onion. Um, this is about a tablespoon. I have some smoked paprika. You could use sweet if you like. I'm just from the south, so I like my my little smoky. Okay. Um, I use here an organic uh, non-GMO ketchup because you know tomatoes, all that. I just Yes, so there is about two tablespoons here of organic ketchup. And then a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And we're just going to mix this all up. With my handy dandy spoon. And this right here is going to be our infused Thousand Island dressing. Now, if you add horseradish to this, you could call it Russian dressing. Oh, okay. That smells really good. I know, I know, it's just dressing, but honestly, with the pickles, the onions, the salt, the infused magic. All right. So. Let's go on and get this out of the way. And now we're going to build our masterpiece. Okay. So I'm going to move this little burner over here, hoping that you guys can see it. I can already hear it. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Okay. Hey, girl. Oh, sorry. It just smells, it smells really, really good. Okay, so we're going to start building our masterpiece here. Again, you traditionally would use rye bread, but I have celiac, so I can't, um, I can't traditionally eat that any longer. So I went and got my very favorite bread, which is this bread. Ooh, I love it. Bread. I can eat it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to build our sammy right here. So I ended up getting an oven roasted turkey okay that's what i that's what i used um instead of corned beef i wanted to make this a little bit 
heart healthy, hence the algae infused oil. So instead of corned beef, I did a um, gluten free, a boar's head oven roasted turkey. Here we go. Here we go now. All right. Our magic right there all of our yumminess okay hi girl look at that and then I'm going to take some of this turkey and I'm just going to pile it because that's the way I like it I like it piled I don't like who wants an organized sandwich I like mine piled you know Give me some shaved meat. No, this is just, this is pretty. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm talking to my Sammy here. I'm talking to my Sammy. Again, a little bit heart healthy. You know, if I'm gonna, whew. All right, how much can I handle? You think I'm good? We're never good. I just wanna keep piling. And then I did Swiss cheese. I did, um, I did a baby Swiss. That is potent. Oh gosh. Look at that. Do I do it? Yeah, I do. Bam. Yeah, that's three pieces. Okay, okay. So, next, watch this. We're gonna turn this on. Now I have a hack for sandwiches. I use mayonnaise instead of butter okay it is the best sammy hack ever and that's when this comes back in what yes no butter mayonnaise magical mayonnaise huh. you'll thank me later you'll thank me later I, I i can see it now all the messages chef i loved it oh my god look at this Okay, so we're heating up. I like cast iron pan. I like to cook in it. There's many reasons. It's got good iron. So we're trying to be as healthy as we can here. Oh, who was going to forget this? Not me. Kraut. Kraut. Okay, sauerkraut. Hail to the sauerkraut. I forgot that. Gotta go on. Sauerkraut. Oh, I couldn't forget my sauerkraut. How dare me. Hey, there's my crunch. I love texture. Hence, again, with the, um, with the pickles and the sauerkraut and the onions. Oh, yes. I'm a sandwich maker. Well, I wonder what kind of favorite sandwiches you guys have. I want to hear. Tell me all about it. There's our infusion again, plopping that on there. Oh, this is getting hot. Oh my gosh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm in quarantine, emotional eating. Come on now. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's a 420 Sammy! Yay! Look at that. Yeah. Turn it down. We're gonna turn it down a little. Girl. Yeah, you know it. That's why I'm Chef Renee. Seriously. In quarantine, that is what I've been doing. I have been chefing it up. I have been making all sorts of creations. For real. For real. Now you could add some garlic to this if you wanted to on the outside. I mean, there's all different sorts of things that you can do uh, with your mayonnaise. Now I can take this, combine this, put this as a dressing for a salad. I mean, nothing goes to waste. You see it? Oh my gosh. Do you even know? Smell it. Oh. 
You know, I, I get excited over sandwiches. I couldn't eat them for the longest time. When I was diagnosed with celiac, I was like, what? No sandwiches? Now? I make all types of sandwiches. All types of sandwiches. Oh my gosh. I feel so dirty. This is great. We're going to try to do a flip here. Hey! That's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. Here you have it. I'm going to come show you. Let me see. I'm going to cut it. <sighs> this is like the best image I've ever made. Turkey Reuben look delicious. I love the magic sauce. That magical sauce. Get lost in the sauce, baby. She mm -hmm. made it look so easy. And what a cool little remix on a classic. Mm -hmm. I, I know my boy Shatz loves that sandwich there. So, yeah. you know, we got to go check out all these chefs today. It, it's been such a good day. Yeah, it's been a good day. Oh man, virtual 420. Thank you so much to High Times. You guys are legends in the game. We appreciate you extending us the time here today to spend with you guys. MagicalButter.com. Randy, what you got for them? Much love. Everyone out there, stay safe, stay high, stay hydrated. You know, eat some edibles right now, you know, so keep those lungs safe. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your 420, the rest of the month, baby. Happy 420, guys. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Much love from all of us here at Magical Butter. Hi Times, it's Garen Angel, CEO of Magical Butter, and I'm back with another giveaway. This time, it's Magical CBD. This product right here, our 3000 milligram creme de menthe tincture, just won the High Times Cannabis Cup for the best hemp-derived ingestible. You get a chance to win this right now. We're gonna give away two of these. In the comments, type in hashtag magical.com, and we'll select winners. It's gonna be the Magical Creme de Menthe 3000 MIG, the Vegan Gummies, and the 3000 MIG Mix Spray. You're gonna love these. Together we win. We've been fam for a long time. Thank you for all your support through the years. I hope your 420 is the best one ever.